गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी लर्न अबाउट द प्लांट कलेक्शन एंड स्पेसिम प्रिपरेशन इन विच वी लर्न विच टाइप ऑफ स्पेसिम शुड बी कलेक्टेड वॉट आर फील्ड इक्विपमेंट रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द सेम how to press plant specimen how to dry plant specimen then mounting of specimens then labeling of specimens and after labeling the specimens are ready for identification of the specimen in this lecture we will learn about the examination of a plant species first we collect the plant species then we make herbarium sheet then we examine the characters of that particular plant species for the further identification since taxonomy is essentially a practical activity examination of a plant species specimen is one of the most important work of a taxonomist without this nothing can proceed in plant taxonomy this may be done in field garden and in the laboratory with the help of specimens of living plants or of well mounted plants which we prepare according to the our earlier lecture now equipment needed for examination of the plant species what equipments we need very simple type of equipment is needed for plant exam for examining plant specimens some of the commonly required articles include a hand lens hand lens may be of 10x and 15x a sharp razor blades a pair of dissecting needles a pair of forceps collection bottles polythene bags a dissecting microscope a compound microscope a good drawing pencil eraser notebook some old newspaper and a good plant identification manual so with the help of all these equipment we can easily examine a plant species now instructions to be followed while examining a plant specimen how we examine a plant specimen while examining a plant specimen certain guidelines should be followed by getting for getting best possible results some of such guide like guidelines are under mention plant should be examined in upward succession beginning with the root and ending with the flower and fruits examination should be begin with the root going upward up to flowers and fruits examine the given plant first with the naked eye and then with the help of hand lens study with flowers study the flowers with great care again in ascending succession that is starting from flower stalk through the calyx corolla and androecium up to the tips of stigmas same uh, should be um, uh, followed here as we done in the first step then make a record of all possible characters before the flower is cut in any way before cutting the flower 
make a record of all possible characters. Next is use the hand lens for recording the details like the way the anthers open, the estivation, the presentation, etc. These we can uh, record with the help of hand lens. At least two flowers should be sectioned at a time. With the help of razor or sharp blade, one horizontally and the other down the middle. The former is required to know the presentation and also to complete the floral diagram. The latter is necessary to see if the ovary is superior or inferior and also to enable a half flower to be drawn. So, at least two flowers should be sectioned at a time. In half flower drawing, drawings, cut surfaces should be drawn first, indicated by double lines and the background filled in later when we cut the flower. Next is floral diagram and other drawings should be drawn quite large in size. They should be drawn neatly and in large size. Next one is the parts of the drawing should be labeled as much as possible in the initial time. If the given specimen has flowers at different stages, all stresses should be examined and drawn as much as possible. It is often easier to see the estivation in horizontal section of bird, but better presentation can be seen in young fruiting stage. So we must take care of this that when we want to see the estivation. It is better seen in the horizontal section of bird and presentation is better seen in the young shooting stage. Sorry, young fruiting stage. This is um, typographic error. Young fruiting stage. Then Make the maximum use of available material in an intelligent way as much, as much as possible. Whatever material we collected, make the maximum use of that. Develop a habit of making keen, precise observation of the given plant specimen. And for the practical Taxonomic work, accurate recording of the information obtained and making the neat and correct diagram is also highly essential. So, before going for identification, all these points must be put in mind and must be taken care of so that we can easily proceed for the identification of the plant. For the identification of the plant, the scheme for the examination, description and identification, I already made PDF of that and provided to the students in the form of e-content. So, I hope you all will gather it from there and make notes because 
in my next lecture we will go for the description of flower thank you